What's going on everybody? It's a creative fro. Check back in for another episode of Fireside Tech. I hope you enjoyed your week and are ready to learn something new because today I'm going to be teaching you how to film action pack sports. Before I dive into this video though, don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button if you have yet to already and also turn that notification bell on just for fun. So for today's tutorial, we are going to be using a game of football as an example. I'm going to take you through the steps that I use to record high action sports. The first thing you're going to want to think about is the gear you're going to be using. Starting from the bottom up, we're going to use our stabilization. So that's either going to be a tripod or a monopod. A monopod is more useful if you're going to be moving throughout the game, whereas a tripod, you can just set it up and only focus on moving your camera. The next item you're going to need is a camera itself that can shoot 60 frames a second. And you're probably going to want to use a wide angle lens so you capture a wide amount of the action. And that way you're not cutting off and missing certain parts of the game. And the last thing for gear I suggest that you have on you is extra batteries because you never want to run out of battery life while the game is going. Tip number two I would give everybody is be early to the game. This gives you an opportunity to scout out a location that you can record at and make sure that you have time to get your tripod set up and your settings set up on your camera and that way you can test things before the game starts. Tip number three is when the action is happening, always remember to follow the ball. This is the most important part because that is where the action is always happening. So for football, the action usually starts in the middle because that's where the football is snapped to the quarterback. So I usually try to start zoomed in on that action and as it happens, I zoom out. And that way you can see everything that's happening. And say the ball is passed forward, I will pan the tripod in that direction to make sure it is following the ball. The same thing goes with any other sport. You have soccer, basketball, the ball continues to move. So just make sure you're following the person that has the ball and with that wide angle lens, you're gonna get everything in shot so you don't have to worry so much about the outsides. I like to stop the recording after the play has been done. So I'll press record so it ends it and then I will continue the recording after the team has broken the huddle. So, and this makes it easy in post-processing because now I have a whole bunch of little 15 to 30 second clips rather than a long 20 minute clip that will take a lot of pressure on the computer. So this is a good way to chop the clips down. This is pretty much like cutting the clips in post-production but without having to cut them. So if you follow these tips here, I really think it can help you with taping high action pack sports and just make sure if you do have any time to stop the recording in between the game, do so so it can save the battery and then you don't have those long duration clips in the end. So just to wrap this video up quickly again, you're going to want to remember all your gear that you're going to need, your tripod, camera, extra batteries. You want to be early to the game so you can scout out a location and get set up. And also this gives you time to test out your camera so you can get some test shots in between. Remember to follow the ball at all times because this is where the action is happening and you don't want to miss that. And don't forget to stop the recording when you can because this is going to help you in the long run and make sure your computer isn't being overworked and you don't have to do as much editing in the post-processing session. I hope everybody enjoyed today's video. Please like if you did, comment down below if there's anything you wanna see for Fireside Tech and share this video if you think it can help somebody. I hope you enjoy your upcoming week and crush it. I can't wait to see you next Sunday in front of this fire again. It's a creative fro and I'm out.